This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. What is up you guys, my name's Selena, and I am sick today, so you guys are gonna have to deal with this raspy voice, uh, hope you like it. <laughs> so I spent a lot of my time on Vimeo to watch travel videos, and one of my favorite type of videos that I love binge watching is slow motion time lapse videos. And so today I kind of wanted to draw some inspiration from those type of videos and teach you guys how you can kind of do this effect. First of all, I want to say that this requires a lot of planning in advance to make an actual nice flow motion video. What a flow motion video is, is basically a time lapse video that is a continuous motion that goes throughout different places of an area. It's a mixture of a bunch of different time lapses that can have zoom or mask effects but it looks like a continuous time lapse video so i've seen a lot of flow motion videos use sort of zoom effects and mask effects so i'm kind of going to try to base it off of that and we're going to work in after effects and figure out what we can do with some of my clips and i'll have the link to download my files that i've used in this video if you guys want to follow along with me and try out this effect so first things first i have my time lapse video that i took in hawaii and so first because my time lapse video was shot in a sequence of photos i can scale out my clip to about 46 and we're gonna be able to zoom in and not lose that much quality so that's very good then I'm gonna press command d on this clip and I'm just gonna rename my bottom file to be my time lapse clip and then the top to be my masked clip because we're gonna do some masking in this video. Now I'll just turn off the eye on my masked clip. The best way to have the best flow motion videos are probably to use a really wide aperture and just a wide lens in general. Um, this was shot on a 28 millimeter lens and it wasn't the best idea but you know we work with what we have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I think I'm gonna add some scaling in in this clip because I've seen a lot of zoom in effects on flow motion videos. So first, I'm gonna press S on my keyboard and press the keyframe button. Then I'm gonna press P on my keyboard because I also wanna adjust the position. We're gonna also press the keyframe button at the same spot. Then I'm gonna move a little bit forward to where I wanna zoom in and press U twice on my keyboard so I can pull up my keyframe scale and position effect and then I'm going to just position and scale the clip so that it goes kind of towards the sand. I know that I'm going to be adding a transition in the end of this video to go above the mountain and it's going to involve masking so I'm going to make sure that I'm scaling in and positioning the clip so that the sky does not appear in this. So now it's just kind of zooming in but I'm going to select my keyframes, right click and press keyframe assistant and easy ease and this will make sure that my keyframes are a little bit more smooth now i want to add a little bit of motion blur on this so i'm gonna press the three circles on the left and make sure my motion blur is on if you don't see that you can press toggle switches and modes at the bottom so now we have some motion blur and that looks so much better and i'm pretty sure there's always motion blur added in flow motion videos now we're gonna add the sort of masking transition effect and this is going to be the way that we smoothly transition from this clip to a different time lapse. So I'm going to go a little bit more forward in the clip uh, when I want to transition. And I'm going to press Command Shift D and just delete the ending of the clip. And then I'm going to go to my masked layer and press Command Shift D at the same spot and delete the beginning of that clip. So now our mask clip is just back to the regular base time lapse without any sort of position or scaling right now. And what I wanna do is mask out the sky. So I'm gonna use the rotor brush tool to do this, but you can definitely use other masking techniques. I just think rotor brush will be the easiest and it won't be too difficult to rotor brush this because it's just the mountain that we need to brush out. And just select everything but the sky because I want to replace the sky. Once we have the rotor brush on, I'm going to just add a little bit of feathering and we're going to add some motion blur so it doesn't have to be that perfect. But I just made the feathering to about 7.9. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my layer that is rotor brushed and I'm going to press space on my 
my keyboard so the After Effects will go through the next 10 frames and kind of keep up the rotor brush effect. And because of the time lapse, the clip isn't moving so it'll pretty much say where it is. Okay, so we just made sure that the rotor brush is still on for the next 10 frames of the clip. Now what we want to do is copy and paste our position and scale keyframes onto our mask clip. So I want to make sure my dial bar is on top of my first two keyframes and I'm going to copy and then go to my top mask layer and then paste the keyframes. So now we have our same keyframes on both clips. Now that we have our keyframes on, we can do this transition. So I'm going to go a little bit after our masked clip time lapse starts and then I'm going to drag my position and scale so that it goes all the way up to that black space. And that does the job. Now I'm gonna make sure that I press those three circles so we can add that motion blur on the clip. What I think it would be smartest to replace with the background is to have another time lapse with a blue sky. Uh, you could also probably use some drone footage too. I'm just gonna paste in a, a different time lapse I have at a different angle of the location. It honestly doesn't really look like the best clip to um, use in this situation, but I really don't have much other clips. So, so yeah, I just put it in the background and I made sure my scale is back to normal because this is another time-lapse clip and what you can also do is kind of add some keyframes in the beginning of the new time-lapse clip and scale it and position it so that it comes from the sky and we can also add motion blur on this as well you can honestly kind of play around with this it's um it's mostly just finding clips that work well together and planning your shoot the best way to wrap up the flow motion video is to add some sound effects so I'm gonna be adding in some wind whistle sounds um and also maybe some wave crashing sounds at the beach and then in the zoomed parts and the transition i would want to add some whoosh effects and i think the sound effects are the most important things to have in the flow motion videos because a lot of the flow motion videos i watch don't even have music it's a lot of just sound effects so every single clip in the flow motion video should have a sound effect Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Now I wanna talk a little bit about my sponsor for the video, which is Squarespace. Because many of you guys are artists and creatives, it's important to have a website. Squarespace is the perfect online tool to sell your products or show your portfolio. With Squarespace, you can claim a domain, build a website, sell a product and market online. And the beautiful templates Squarespace has and the marketing tools you can use is perfect and easy for us creators. Squarespace also has award-winning customer service that is open 24 hours, seven days a week. So if you guys are ever have any difficulties with making your website, you have that customer service available. So if you're ready to start your business or creative website, make it with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash filmventurestudios to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. New videos coming soon. An exciting video coming next week because it's a film and I've been working so hard on it and I'm excited for it. So get excited. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.